Hey beautiful Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and see what important messages you may need to know at this time, okay? What do we have for Geminis? What do they need to know spirit and need to be aware of at this time? All right, Gemini, starting this reading with the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Swords, Four of Swords. There's a lot of sword here. The Hermit. Nine of Pentacles. The Lover's Bow. I'm very happy to see the Lover's card here. And the Six of Pentacles. Wow. So take this message out of resonates. I feel like, Gemini, a lot of you are surely getting back to a state of balance in your life, okay? There might have been a tendency in the past to extremely isolate yourself or detach yourself. To me, the Hermit means isolation. Embracing solitude, going on our own path, not being open to anybody. There might have been a period of you wanting to disconnect, okay? But I feel like slowly but surely, you're becoming more and more open. Ready to socialize, ready to open your heart, ready to give people a chance and welcome people in. I may be connecting with Geminis who have been single for so long, who may have taken a long break from dating. And this is because it's a personal decision. In order to focus on yourself and healing, I see that with three of swords, ten of swords, and five of swords. Like there was something very tragic that happened in the past, even something very traumatic for some of you. And although this was in the past, it feels like it took a long time to heal this. And you could still be in the process of healing. However, something changed here for you, Gemini. Like there's a new wave of energy entering. Might be in, in the form of a new person, your relationship. Like there's something new here that's changing and rewiring the way that you view relationships here. That it no longer needs to be something frightening or scary to be vulnerable with someone. You've gained a different new perspective, okay? Uh, I feel like for some of you, it could be the person that you're dealing with, okay? They may have been so closed off, afraid of being hurt again, that they really shut down a lot of people. But for some reason, there's something about your energy, your power, your influence. That is slowly but surely helping somebody open up, open up to the possibility of love and rejoining people once again, socialize. All right, it's a beautiful healing process for someone here. It is also possible that both of you are helping each other heal, okay? Both of you together are overcoming some traumatic events in your life and realizing that love is a healing force. Okay, we have four of swords, like despite different backgrounds, different histories, you see a lot of yourselves in one another. And it's a, it has a very interesting way of restoring balance and ha happiness in each other's lives, okay? So Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving. I just am getting that the more you give trust, the more that you're being trusted, the more that you give love, the more that you receive love. You know what they say, like the energy we put out there is the energy that we attract. I feel like someone here is realizing that the more I close myself off, the more that that's also the energy that I attract in my life. Star card is a very beautiful message of hope, inspiration, and beauty all around you. This is a very special time. A lot of you can feel there's something changing in the air. There's somebody new that's inspiring you, Gemini, and likewise, you're, you are inspiring them. Also, I'm getting that somebody has been battling with doubts, pessimism, ultimately, uh, because this was stemming from a lot of disappointment in the past. All right. And I feel like now hope is being restored. This new relationship, new connection, or even opportunities coming in is restoring hope in a person. All right. It, it is a brighter and, and more hopeful future ahead. So stay definitely optimistic. Okay. For a lot of you, this is a different message. I am getting that with Ten of Swords and the Lover's card. This means that somebody was afraid that, that if they get in a relationship again, they may end up hurting that other person. Completely different message here, Gemini. Somebody is afraid of hurt, hurting somebody. And I'm picking up here that the other person sees the light in you and is not, is not really worried at all. All right, because I, I feel like this may just be some some deeply seated fear. I don't want to get in a relationship or get attached because I might end up hurting you. 
And I feel like somebody's now changing their perspective on this upon closer um, introspection and examining oneself, okay? It's sort of like a defense mechanism. Somebody now stops running away from how they feel because the stronger that they suppress their feelings and their emotions, the stronger it gets as well, is what I'm picking up. So they cannot control this anymore. I just feel like Gemini, somebody's falling for you, you're falling for them as well. It has a very interesting way of restoring balance and happiness. They may have tried to fight these feelings off, but they can't. I'm getting that for some of you, this person may have even tried to distance themselves, but it could be that they're reconnecting with you once again. There could be an apology from someone who was still afraid of opening up because they've been reminded of their previous past painful experience and realizing that that's no longer their reality and it's not fair um, to project that on this relationship. All right. They're also releasing their past, okay? What else does Gemini need to know at this time? So we have the Empress. Wow. The Empress is the supreme card of love, fertility, family, marriage. I'm getting that, that you are open for this. You know, you want this relationship to grow. And likewise, this person knows that this is growing. I also want to say that at the end of the day, it's still going to depend on you and this person's effort. Progress depends on your effort, but there's um, a huge probability or chance with the Empress that this is going to grow and is going to blossom, is going to yield to something even more beautiful in the future. We have the Harfant. It's also coming across that somebody realized they have so much love to give. They have so much love to give, okay? But it all starts with self-love as well. I'm wondering, Gemini, if a lot of you found love as you were going on a journey of self-love, okay? That is because all the inner work that you've been doing here, I feel like it's very evident the change that's happening with the Empress, reinventing yourself, changing something from the inside is now showing on the outside. And this makes you a very magnetic energy, attractive with the Empress. You just vibrate in the energy of love. And so naturally, people are being drawn to you, speci specifically this new person. All right. It's saying here that fear cannot exist in the aura of love. I feel like somebody is ready to face their fear, release the fear, and li live um, through love. Okay. The Harfin is another message of commitment, marriage. Somebody could be open to the possibility of marriage and deeper commitment. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're open for marriage. They're open for love. You both are helping each other heal emotional wounds of the past, even childhood wounds. It wasn't easy. The healing process wasn't easy, but it's like strengthening the relationship. It's also saying here with the lovers that the path towards love and commitment isn't isn't really the easiest, most convenient, or stress-free. In fact, there is still a lot of ups and downs when we decide to say yes to love, but it also can bring so much joy in many aspects of our lives, okay? So this means choosing love, choosing to follow one's heart. I feel like you and this person are choosing choosing to follow your heart here, not overanalyze or complicate things because our mind can sometimes prevent us okay overthinking over analyzing things so it's a very beautiful message of coming together with your person you both feel like you you known each other for for a long time because the lovers here it's like a feeling of being united with your cosmic twin okay you and this person make each other feel happy and and bring that balance in each other's lives okay what is your advice for Gemini at this time, please, Spirit? It says here, this cycle card shows a street where everything is the same. Upright, this card indicates a period of little change for you. It's advisable at this time to maintain the present energy regarding such endeavors as work, relationship, or location. There is value in allowing the momentum of your life to continue on its present path. Although the outer energy remains steady, don't lose sight of the inner work that can be 
percolating under the surface. The regularities of this time actually allow you to bring more balance into your thoughts and behavior. Now is a great time to meditate, read, and socialize with people of like mind. Let yourself focus on these activities and make them a priority now. If status quo turns up at a time when you are actually going through some significant change, it's telling you to engage in personal activities that will help you maintain as much inner balance as possible. Remember that the center of your status quo is always your divine nature. Wow. So I feel like somebody was afraid of of a relationship or really opening up to a person, but now realizing that they want to continue, that this is actually a relationship that's good for them, that's healthy for them. So this is what I'm picking up for your reading, Gemini. Thank you guys so much for watching till the end. Take only what resonates and leave out what doesn't. I'm sending you love and light and namaste.